previously on Legacy. I can't believe you. What? You killed my father? What are you even talking about? I never had documents at all, let alone killing your father. Rosie, please. I would never. You know me. I would never do this to you. I also know you would lie to save your back, and I don't believe you. Cleo, I would feel best if you just don't stay here right now. Just, just go somewhere else. Wait, what? You're kicking me out? I can't just go on the street. Why don't we just sit down and talk? No, forget talking. I'm leaving. Now listen here. You are coming to Vancouver tomorrow. Do you understand me? I don't care if you have a better job where you are. You're coming here because guess what? I'm going to pay you double of whatever you're making at your job right now. Do you think I could stay here for a few days? What? Stay here in my apartment? Why? Basically, I'm not sure what happened. I just know that Rosemary and Lee were fighting and then the next thing I know, both of us were moving out. But what are we supposed to do, Loy? Just live in fear for the rest of our lives? I mean, that's what I do. But we shouldn't have to. I know, but, but Karis is powerful and there's nothing we can do. Well, so is my family, okay? We can take her down. I bet it wasn't even the doctor's fault! I bet I knew whose fault it was. Those dumb Coulters. Ugh, I can't believe it slipped my mind. I shouldn't do anything with my appearance because Rosemary and Lee literally would do anything to destroy my life! They fired me and now they make me look ugly? What more could they do to me? I was such a beautiful cat and now I look like a piece of garbage! Ugh, she's so dead! Rosemary? Jason? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, but I'm not going to. I actually work here. Oh, I had no idea. My family owns this hotel. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Well, then thank you for letting me stay. I hope everything's all right. You seem a little off. Well, you don't really know me that well, do you? Um, I mean, if you're not busy, I could go and show you around or we can catch dinner. Jason, that'd be lovely, but you and I both know that, well, I'm here alone all night, and sounds like you are too. Besides, we're both married, it doesn't matter anyways. I guess you're right, it shouldn't matter, just as friends. Do you mind if we crash at your table? No, feel free to. No, oh, we're not starting in the morning, we're starting now. Of course, I'll have my team look for her right now. Don't get me wrong, you are head of the police, correct? Yes, sir. Then you better find her before dawn. I can't promise anything, sir, but I will try my hardest to find her. But the place is burning. What? Rosie? Lee? Oh, my dog, thank God you're all right. I was so worried about you. Yes, why are you here? How did you find me? I've been looking all night for you. Really? I didn't have plans to kill your father. I would never do something like that to you. Yes, I know. You do? How? Last time we spoke, you were angry about it. Well, I was having some thoughts, and and I found this. Well, this signature is in ballpoint pen. Kind of proves that it wasn't you who signed it. Especially since it was printed out here, which means my mother must have brought her own pen to sign, since it's pretty hard to find a pen in our house, and she probably knows that. I knew you hated me, but I didn't know you hated me this much. You didn't have to destroy my appearance. Remember when I told you that I was going to get you back one day? Yes, I haven't thought about it since the day you told me. Well, day's here, lady. You better start getting your lawyers ready. I'm coming for both of you. I'm sorry. Wait, please explain again. They ruined my life. We had no idea this was going on. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, Miss Sophia... This sounds like a very unimportant case. No! They were the ones who ruined my life! You can't let them get away with this! I will pay you double! Uh, ma'am, you know bribing a judge is, um, uh, very illegal, right? I don't care! I want to see them in jail! Judge, we had no idea this was going on, and she broke into our house. Doesn't that count? Yes, of course it does, but I'm not gonna put anyone in jail. I mean, this sounds like the stupidest case I've ever heard of. You both say you had no idea what she's talking about, and, I mean, she got fired. Obviously, she's gonna want to get revenge, so, Sophia, are you sure you're not lying about this? No, of course I'm not lying! Gosh, I just want to see them in jail. They ruined my life. Right, well, I can't actually put anyone in jail just because they, quote-unquote, ruined your life, but, um, thanks for trying. You won't get away with this! I'm gonna put you both in jail! You sound even more annoying than you did last night. Right, alright. Well, I'll let you guys talk it out, but, uh, case closed.
you can't do this to me and I'm gonna have to move away and start a new life because you guys made me look so ugly. Sophia, like I said, we had nothing to do with this. We don't even know what you're talking about. Yes, and according to the doctor, that's what you wanted to look like. That is not what I wanted to look like! Uh, then maybe you shouldn't go get plastic surgery. Maybe you shouldn't even be alive, okay? Listen, I don't care what the judge said. You guys did this to me and I'm gonna get you back. Or you could just let, you know, move out of the country. Oh, that's so rude. You know what? Fine, I will move. I don't want to see your ugly face ever again. I think this is the stupidest conversation we've ever had with someone. Agreed. But there is a few things that I did want to talk to you about. Why don't we go home? Yeah, of course. I was thinking that too. I really don't want to sit in this courtroom with uh, uh, Miss Ugly Pants. So let's go. Well, that was rather stupid. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in her head. Oh, Rosemary, I was looking for you. Yes, Cleo? So I have this problem and I'm not sure what to do about it. What happened? Well, you've been telling me that we need an investor for Beanie Boutique, like a silent partner almost. And I've been looking around and I think I found a girl who would fit the part, but I just don't know how to convince her. Oh, well, I can help you with that. I know, I just didn't want to trouble you since she's um, located in Atlanta, and that's pretty far. Oh, well, lucky for me, I actually have a business meeting in Atlanta for LC Enterprises, so we could just go together. You didn't tell me about that. Yeah, sorry, I it slipped my mind, and I haven't been excited to go, as you know. Gosh, I hate Atlanta so much. It's really hot there, so I understand. So, Cleo, who's this investor you're talking about? Her name's Bentley. She's willing to be a silent partner in Beanie Boutique, and she's also willing to move. That sounds perfect. Have you checked everything else? Like recommendations and things? Yeah, she's the perfect candidate. Well, great. I mean, we could all go to Atlanta. I'd love to, but unfortunately, I already had some plans with my mom that day, and I hope it's not that big of a deal, but... No, not at all. Feel free to just skip the trip. I can go. We'll only be gone for a few days, right? Yeah, just to get a meeting in and for you to convince a buyer. So we'll be back in a few days. When are you planning on leaving? She said she could meet this Saturday. That works for me. My meeting is on Monday. So Clea, we'll be back Tuesday if that works. Yeah, perfect. Great. And just let Lacey know, okay? That you're taking my place for a few days. Not that we're going to be gone. Don't worry, I'll text her. Yeah, of course. I wish you luck. Thanks, Cleo. I'm glad you could make it. Yes, of course, Mrs. Waters, but why do you want me here? I've already worked with you once and it didn't work, so I'm not interested. Oh, you will be. I have another plan to kill Lee Coulter. Ugh, uh, another plan? Look, I've tried so many different times, okay? I think it's almost impossible at this point. And no, I'm not getting on board with you again. I almost got shot, killed, and in jail. Well, what you're doing is making you get shot, killed, and in jail, so don't even pin it on me. Ugh, I don't care anymore. I just want to be with your daughter. And I want her husband to be gone so you can be with my daughter. Does that make sense to you? Yes, but what do you think we should do about it? I don't know what we should do. I've already tried and I've already failed. It's because you haven't listened to me. Look, I have the perfect plan. They're going to Atlanta, so we could just go there. What the heck? That's not a plan. I don't understand. You asked me to come here. I came here. I tried. I failed. I'm done. I'll figure out my own way to get to Rosemary. You're never going to be able to get to my daughter without my permission. And if you don't follow my rules, you don't get my permission. She's like 24 years old. I don't need your permission. I'm still her mother. Ugh, you know what? I am done with this. I'm not working with you. You'll change your mind after you hear my plan. Yeah, right. Let's hear it. Okay, so basically this is what's going to happen.
so much for inviting us over. Yeah, of course. It's the least we could do. Okay, who's ready for my lasagna? Carter, did you have to make lasagna? We eat lasagna every single time. Can't you just make a different type of Italian food? Ugh, tell me about it. What? You don't like my lasagna? But my lasagna is the best ever. Yes, it is, Carter, but... Look, we eat it all the time. Don't you realize that our taste buds are kind of dead? Literally, Carter, can't we eat something else? But I worked all day on this lasagna, and I thought you guys were going to like it. I'm sure it's wonderful, Carter. It's just that... Fine! If you don't want to eat my lasagna, then you don't have to! I'll eat it by myself! Oh, Carter, don't throw it all over the floor! It's alright, Lacey, we'll pick it up. I don't think he understands that eating lasagna every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner gets tiring. Ugh, I couldn't imagine. Okay, fine, there, I threw it away, and now we can order a freaking McDonald's. Are you happy, guys? Carter, look, listen, I... Ugh, I can't believe you guys don't like my lasagna. Carter, no one likes your lasagna. You make it way too much. Lee! I'm sorry, give us one minute. Yeah, of course. Come on, Carter. What in the heck is wrong with you? I'm just saying, you agree too. Okay, but I don't blurt it out to Carter that I don't like his lasagna. Look, we might be tired of it, but he works really hard, and I don't think he realizes that our taste buds are basically dead. So you just don't want me to be honest with him? I don't want you to lie to him, but I also don't want you to be rude. Okay, is it rude to tell him that we've had it way too much? Yes, he puts time and effort into that, and even if you don't like it, that doesn't mean you can just be rude. He's our guest. You can't just act like that. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. I hope we're not late. No, we got here just in time. I mean, the plane takes off, what, at 30 minutes from now? I know, but things could happen. Um, things did happen. Um, hello? How can I help you? If you guys are talking about the plane to Atlanta, it canceled. What? Something about the jet fuel, I'm not sure, but the next plane leaves tomorrow, so we all have to get hotel rooms. But my meeting is tomorrow. Yes, is there any way that we could get to Atlanta tonight? Not unless you have a private jet, which, you know, none of us do. Uh, yeah, funny you should mention that. We do, but it's in Atlanta, so that's why, well, that's one of the reasons why we have to go. Ooh, that's awkward. Uh, well, congratulations on your private jet, but unfortunately, there is no other planes that are going to Atlanta tonight. So what are we supposed to do? Uh, do what the rest of us are gonna go do and get a hotel room? Well, I guess that is the best option. The best option is to get to Atlanta by tonight. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, okay. Good luck with that. Well, we can't. So, come on, let's go. Go where? There are no civilized hotels anywhere near this airport. Then I guess we're going to an uncivilized one, then. Ugh, this is gonna be disgusting. You think I'm happy about it? Honestly, yes, you hate Atlanta. Okay, well, I'd rather go to Atlanta than being in a nasty hotel, but... We don't have a choice, so come on. Hold on, Lee. Give me one second. Someone's calling me. Yes, hello? Hello, yes, Rosemary Coulter? Um, yes, who is this? Oh, I'm Bentley. I was the one who you were supposed to see tomorrow. Is that correct? Oh, yes, M Bentley, of course. Um, and I, uh, was actually meaning to call you. See, our flight got canceled and we won't be there until tomorrow. And we won't be in time for the meeting. I was wondering if we could reschedule. Oh, sweetie, I would love to. Unfortunately, I called my agent, and we are actually busy all this week. And I was looking through Beanie Boutique, and it doesn't seem to have the best track record. I think I'm looking for a more suitable business, but thank you for your business anyways. I'm sorry, what? Please don't take it to offense, Mrs. Coulter. I was just... I don't know. I was just thinking... Oh, um, yes, of course, that's perfectly fine. Thank you for calling me. And thank you for reaching out to me. Bye-bye. Bye. Who was that? Bentley, my silent partner who was supposed to partner. She didn't. Wait, she quit? Apparently Beanie Boutique isn't suitable for her. Don't worry about it. You'll find one eventually. Come on, I already got our hotel booked. Well, surprisingly, this isn't actually a bad hotel. Yes, it's actually rather nice. Well, we never really got to talk about it, but I'm sorry that Bentley canceled on you. Honestly, it's alright. I'm not sure if I was really wanting a silent partner in the first place. But I thought that's what you said you wanted. Maybe, but I think Cleo and Lacey and I can handle it. Besides, I mean, Beanie Boutique's going great, and I really don't need someone else's input. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you're happy. 
I apologize for your meeting. I know you were looking, well, you weren't looking forward to it, but it was necessary. Oh, well, thank you for your concern. I actually messaged them. I rescheduled it. We're good. That's really good. Now everything's working out. Yeah, everything is great. I can't believe it. There's no crisis. I know, right? I was just thinking that. Your business is going good. My business is going good. The baby's healthy. And all of our family and friends are good, mostly. So, I mean, today's been pretty great, considering the circumstances anyways. <laughs> yes, and I applaud that. Have you called Carter? Called Carter about what? Well, a few nights ago, you were pretty rude and harsh to him about his lasagna, and I told you to apologize. I was just wondering if you ever did. Oh! That's what I forgot. Yeah, I probably should do that. Okay, well, you do that. I'm gonna go call in some room service. Do you want anything? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm gonna call Carter. Carter, pick up. Oh, hey, Carter. Oh, hey, Lee. What's up? Uh, I was just calling to apologize for what happened a few nights ago. Oh, yeah, um... It's fine. I, Lacey told me after we left that it was make fun of your friend day, so I totally get it. You don't have to keep playing the game. I got it, Lee. Thanks. Right. Wait. Yeah, that's what she said? Yeah. Um, totally. Th yeah, I was just, yeah. W I thought you got a good laugh out of that, Carter. <laughs> uh, anyways, sorry about that. Uh, sorry I didn't tell you sooner that it was make fun of your friend day. <laughs> Had no idea. Slipped my mind. Yeah, I was a little bit hurt the entire time, but then Lacey told me, and I'm good now. Anyways, uh, I did want to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah, sure. What's up, Carter? Okay, so, um, you know how I've been talking to you about maybe proposing to Lacey? Yeah, what about it? Well, I think I'm finally ready. I think I'm gonna propose to Lacey. Oh my gosh, Carter, that's so big! Congratulations! Yes, tomorrow is the day. I can't believe it. It's gonna be Mr. and Mrs. Phelan. I'm so happy for you, Carter. She's gonna say yes, right? Of course she's gonna say yes. Lacey loves you. Say yes about what? Carter's proposing to Lacey. <gasps> oh my gosh!